Mom with UKFightSite.com. I'm down here at Cage Warriors 99 with Steve Amable. Steve, another great performance under your belt, under the Cage Warriors banner. Um, take me through the fight, it was a tough fight, but uh, you, you dominated. Um, yeah, take me through. Yeah. Yeah. Like you say, I dominated, we knew the game plan. Um, we knew Josh was going to come forward, he was tough. Use straight shots, circle. He likes to press people against the cage. That was number one. Don't allow to press me against the cage. Press me against the cage. Gets into where he wants to go. You know, he'll go for the body lock, grind you down, and beat you up on the floor. We didn't want that. So it was straight shots when he comes forward. Circle out, free center. Put the pressure on, but didn't get a chance to put the pressure on. Throw my shot, circle out. He's back on me, throw the shot, circle out, it was, it was constant, but do you know what I mean? It's a tough fight, very tough fight. Uh, he was in his guard quite a lot. Yes. How, how strong was he down there? Got anything to worry about when he was down there? Uh, I he was moving his hips well. Um, that was that was the only, I could feel it. That's why my hands, I was always going for that can opener, because, sorry. Yeah, just going for that can opener, just to uh, keep his head pressed against the cage, and I could feel his hips come in. He was getting the, the foot on my hips, trying to, you know, get me off centre so he could throw up an arm by a triangle. He threw it up a couple of times, but I was aware of it. Um, I didn't want to disengage, so I'm a corner shatter, like, break away, but I knew I was in good position. Um, the only time, like, when I stood up, I was wearing my legs, maybe looking the leg, going for a leg lock, but I felt comfortable. I knew I'd dominate in that round. It was a dominant position. There was no real danger for me, so I was happy to stay there. Land some elbows, but he was talking shit to me while I was in there. Was saying good say. shot. Every time I hit him, it was a good shot. It's a bit disheartening, but if someone's saying it's a good shot, you know it's a good shot, you know it hurts. So I was happy to stay there and dominate the round. Your striking looked great again, uh, obviously at the, uh, the ice arena. Yes. Uh, I think that was like 15 seconds. 40. 40. Yeah, 40. Yeah. Um, who have you been working with on, on your striking? And no one. No? <laughs> I'm lazy. Well, I wouldn't say I'm lazy, but I've got a full-time job like most people yeah. that do this. You know what I mean? It's hard to... I, I stay away quite a lot. I'm working, I stay away from I'm in Manchester working. Obviously, it's great places up there to train. But when you finish work, sometimes I don't finish work till 6 o'clock by the time I get home. I don't want to be turning up to someone else's gym late. Do you know what I mean? So it's hard to get it in. Um, but I just, I've, got super, I've got quality coaches around me. Do you know what I mean? I've got Jack Mason, the veteran sport, Nick Albert, the shit wrestler, but he'll do the job. Uh, I've got Craig Edwards, playing his night tonight, but Craig's like technically best in the gym. Yeah. Simple as that. You know what I mean? He trains every day. Basically his job, do you know what I mean? So it, I've got quality coaches around me, do you know what I mean? I don't I don't need to be travelling other places. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I'm I'm, I'm happy and capable with the with the coaches I've got around me. I'm confident in everything I do with them. Uh, you're three and one this year, right? Yeah, yeah. Finished the year strong. Uh, what do you what do you want to do starting off 2019? What's the plans? Get another win under my belt. Um, in cage words, another solid performance. Pizza. Who can I start going call out? Do you know what I mean? I don't need to call out any, anyone out. Do you know what I mean? Everyone that I could call out is already up there for the belt. Do you know what I mean? So another solid win against one of them guys. Let let Ian or Graham sort that out. And then once I get that dominant performance, speak to them and get this title, get this title shot on the run. Do you know what I mean? I, I won that belt next year. Uh, obviously, uh, congratulations Thank on the, the other much. big news. Uh, yes. You're going to be a dad. I uh, am, yeah. Uh, you said it was quite recent that you found out. How recent was it? Uh, my wife will be having three months scanning next week. So, I know most people wait until that scans and then come out, but ideal, ideal place, you know what I mean? Yeah. Everything's come together this year, do you know what I mean? Started the year strong, do you know what I mean? my first year back after major knee surgery, do you know what I mean? Full ACL reconstruction, do you know what I mean? Some people might not come back from that, but you know, before I had that knee up, do you know what I mean? I had three fights without an ACL, so now I've come back with an ACL. You can see them from my performances, what I had, I've had. I'm trying to think now, one finish, two, no, two finishes, two knockouts, uh, loss. And then that quality performance then, do you know what I mean? Proves that I'm, I'm still one of the best in this division and I've still got plenty to prove. Great, great 
great way to finish off the yeah, year. It is. I'm going to let you go. I know you've got your eye on a cookie, right? Yeah, I have. <laughs> uh, Corey McKenney's made me some uh, cooking. It looks like everyone else is eating it, so I want some now. Brilliant. Thanks for your time, oh, mate. Congratulations it, mate. Thank you again. Very much. Thank you, Steve. Thank you, mate.